Hello and welcome back. Tonight I'm going to show you guys how to make spatchcock chicken. This time of year there's all kinds of posts on Facebook about beer can chicken. Do not make that. That is the worst way in the world to make chicken. There's all kinds of posts of people that burn up chicken where they were trying to get it done on the inside because the beer's cold on the inside and end up burning up the outside of the bird. I'm going to show you a much better way. Think about it this way. Water steams at what? 212 degrees. What are you cooking your chicken to? 165 at the breast. No way that beer's ever going to steam. It just keeps the inside of your bird cold. Bad idea. Much better idea. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this, and you're going to love it. Hit that subscribe button and check this out. All right, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Take a chicken and flip him over and take a good pair of kitchen shears and cut the spine out. And just get that out of the way. Open the bird up, and there's usually a big chunk of fat in here. Go ahead and cut that out too. And take your paring knife, or any knife really, and right in here, hopefully that shows up good, there's a little white piece of cartilage where the breastbone is. You want to cut through that cartilage. You hear it snap. Reach in there and just kind of pop that breastbone out like that. Nice and simple. I like to run my thumbs down each side of it, kind of gets it loosened up a little bit, then that whole breastbone will pop out. Cartilage and all. With that out, you have spatchcock your chicken. Wash all the yucky stuff out of there, and it's ready for your rub. Alright, here's a secret that will really make that skin crispy. This is Duck Fat Spray from BarbecuePelletsOnline.com. Buddy Seth Fisher sells this stuff over there. Just give it a quick squirt of that before you put your rub on. And that will make that chicken really have a great skin to it. Ready for the grill. All right, let's get it on. You got the grill grates heated up on the Weber Genesis. And I'm going to put this thing skin side down first, right there. If you don't have grill grates on your grill, you need them. I'll put links in the description below for this too. These things make any grill better, even a great grill like this. They're awesome to have. My grill is going to cook around 375 to maybe as much as 400 on this cook. You do not have to cook chicken low and slow to get a good juicy chicken. And you do want the crispy skin, right? So this is the best way to do it, especially on a gas grill or a charcoal grill. After it's been on about 10 minutes, give it a quick quarter turn. It'll make the grill marks wonderful. All right, after about another 10 minutes, we want to reach in there and give this dude a nice little flip. Turn him on over. Look at that. Woo! Man, let me tell you, nothing puts grill marks on food like those grill grates. It's no wonder people are winning championships for those things. All right, this thing's warm enough now that we're going to use the great tongs to give it the last turn. All right. Give us a quick temperature check. Looking for 165 on the breast, we got a good ways to go. Again, links in the description below for everything used in this video. 160 at the breast, we're good to go. These great tongs make this part a breeze. Yes, sir. Man, let me show you this. Look at that. Look how juicy that thing is. That is a juicy chicken. That's what you get when you cook spatchcock chicken on the grill grates. This is much, much easier, faster, and better cooked than beer can chicken. That nice juicy breast meat. Can't get any better than that. So that's how you make spatchcock chicken. 
Great way to do it, much better than beer can chicken. Still plenty juicy. Great way to do the bird, full of flavor, and you don't have to worry about it cooking uneven. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check out the links in the description below and some other videos while you're here. See you next time.